Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your grown woman with children, right? It's me. Mm, it's Tuesday, right? We went to bed Monday. <clears throat> Woke up, it's Tuesday, right? Okay, so I hope your Tuesday is going fantastic this morning. And mine is a little bit off this morning. So, my son has been coming home. My seventh grader has been coming home. He's been talking a lot about equity versus equality. And it's been... I know the difference and understand the difference, but you know, it's been very controversial within the education system about that one word, equity versus equality, and you know, it shouldn't be used and all that kind of stuff. So what I've been explaining to my kids, the easiest way I can possibly explain to them is that, okay, so my son that has um, spectrum of autism and my son that doesn't have um, any disability, just a little bit in his own world, which we understand that. I explained to them, if I do everything the same way for the both of them, will it benefit them? Example, Elijah sometimes need quiet time. He needs to de-escalate. He needs quiet time. He needs to sit with noise control headphones and just kind of get in his own world to kind of de-escalate himself because he's worked himself up about something and I can't soothe that feeling at that time. I try to talk it out with him. I try to help him understand the feeling and the emotions because I want for my children to be socially and emotion socially and emotionally um, equipped in life. I want for them to be able to show their feelings and their emotions in an appropriate way. So, okay. So I give him the noise control headphones. He sits for a while and he kind of de-escalates. He goes through his emotions and his feelings and I allow him to come back to me and talk to me once he's gathered his thoughts of how he was feeling at the time. So we can talk about it. Now, my son, without the disability, I was explaining to him, now, if I give you noise control headphones, what do you need them for? What are you going to do with the noise control headphones? He said, nothing, mommy. I wouldn't want them. He was like, I, I don't want the headphones because it's just going to stop me from hearing and I don't want the headphones. I said, okay. I, now I said, now let's go back to this example. Because the world is saying that everyone is equal, that we all deserve the same thing. Just give everybody the same thing and let everybody just do what they do with the same thing. But me giving everything equal in my household is not a benefit for both of my children. So my son Isaiah, he said, oh, mommy. So that means that that's why I don't use the headphones because I don't need them. I said, right. I said, but if I give you the headphones and you don't have a use for the headphones, does that help you? He said, no, it didn't help me. I said, but if I give you both headphones and it helps your brother, does that help him? He said, yeah, because he's the one that needs him. I said, so do you understand what I'm saying? Is that because I can't treat both of you equal, I can give each one of you the equality of life to be able to use all the essential tools and need, essential tools in life to be successful. That was catered to you. All of your tools in life that I give to each one of my children successfully helps each one of my children, not equally, but differently okay so that's what we've been battling with the last couple of days and <clears throat> I don't know if I'm wrong if my technique is wrong I mean you guys can kind of give me your feedback on it but teaching our children the difference that no matter we are all equal as humans because we're all humans so that makes us equal as humans but each one of our needs is different so therefore it calls for different things for us to be successful i wouldn't give everybody gum in the classroom when i know some children may have diabetes some children may have cavities some children may not eat candy and gum and their parents don't allow them to have it but me giving it to them does that make that everybody equally got the gum and that they can use it to be successful or does it mean that you have to basically, it's not a cookie cutter. You can't raise children the same. You can't teach children the same. So you have to be able to cater to each child's need to be able to give them what they need to be successful. To me, that is equal parenting. That is equal teaching. Because yes, I may not have given you the same thing I gave your neighbor, but you all are receiving the same type of education the way that you understand the education to benefit you. So 
I just shared that this morning because it was it's been just such a hot topic and you know coming home and talking about things with your children because I can tell you I even to my 17 year old she doesn't understand she still comes to me and say like hey mom what's going on with this or I don't understand this so my children talk to me all my children talk to me so it's like I'm just that right there what you doing mom I got a question for you so I break it down in the most I, I tell him, I said, well, dude, I'm going to break it down to you like you're a third grader. You okay with that? And you say, yeah, mom, just break it down so I can understand it. See, each one of my children, my oldest, I can just tell her what, what I'm saying and she'll get it. My other children, I have to give them layman examples. I have to give them examples. I have to give them like an orange and an apple and just show them that even though this orange and apple is an equal fruit, the benefits are different. The taste is different. You still equally, they are a fruit. They are. They are labeled as a fruit. But this orange serves a different benefit from this apple. And so when you break stuff down like that, the children, you help people understand, even adults, you just, you know, give it to them, you know, in the, in the lamest term. I'm not asking you to dumb down anything. I'm just asking to you to give what each person can understand give it to them how they can understand it. That's equality to me. That's equality. That's equity. You know, everybody is this, everybody's assumed to be the same until you give them the quality of tools that they need to be successful. So that's my Tuesday morning. I'm glad y'all stay here with me and listen to me. Now, if I'm wrong, listen, I, I don't be up. I, I'm up for a good debate, but I don't really be up for no debate. You know, but, um, you know, we can chat about it. I'm not going to argue about your opinion versus my opinion because that's what? that's We both have an opinion, right? It's just our opinion is different. You may view how to get to the market going to the left. I may view how to get to the market going to the right. But guess what? We both end up at the market, right? Okay. So, you guys have an awesome Tuesday. And whatever you do, don't let nobody ruin your day because you're going to have a good day on purpose. You're going to have a successful day on purpose. You're going to have a stress-free day on purpose, right? This is part of the Wellness Club. That's what we're going to do. we part of the Wellness Club. And you have an awesome, awesome Tuesday. So just always remember what I say. You can be easy. You can be greasy. But whatever you do, just be what? You got it. Just be you. All right, so you have an awesome day, and go tell somebody you love them. I just told you, okay? I love you. Later.